Drivers, when you're out doing Uber Eats and you get that notification that you need a PIN number, how do you find that? Here's the answer. It's the last four of the customer's phone number. Now you're set. That way, if the customer doesn't know what it is, you can ask them, what's the last four of your phone number? Now, why is this a big deal? It's because the company is protecting themselves and by being close by, they're protecting the driver as well. Most likely the customer has said that items are missing. Maybe they've said that orders have been stolen. And this is just the company's way of protecting themselves to have proof that the food, the groceries, what have you, did in fact get to the customer. So as a driver, don't despair. Um, a lot of times I did an order recently where it said meet in person. And then when I got there, the gate was locked and they weren't going to let me in. And they said, oh, just leave it there. And I let them know there's a pin number. So unfortunately, I can't do that. And when the lady did come down, keep delivering. Yeah. See, it wants to know a pin number. I can't drop it off. There is no option. What pin number? What is that? What is the pin number? Your receipt? Uh, what pin number? There's no pin number. Oh. That's weird. In your Uber Eats app? Yeah, it's Uber Eats app. Oh. Or do you know the last four of your phone number? Sometimes yeah. it's that. Okay. So, uh... Aha. Got it. Yep. Okay. So really, she may not have known that answer. But as a driver, knowing it's the last four of the phone number, that saved me a lot of time and it let me get out there and make more money. And it protected myself in case the customer said they didn't get the order. My name's Russ and I love making videos to help you. And this little tidbit of information is something not well known and especially for any new driver. How would you know that? You'd have to get on Google and research it yourself or more commonly, call support and spend a lot of time waiting for that answer. So this little tip will get you back on the road making money and not wasting time. And you're also helping the customer. And since we're talking about it, use the timestamp camera app and take your own pictures of every drop off. It has the GPS, the date, the time. That way you're protecting yourself and you have a copy on your own that's outside of the app. And this will come in handy if the customer says you didn't do something you should have, and you can provide that picture to them and Uber Eats. Most of the time when we do deliveries, everything's fine. But just like in life, there's always good and bad. And sometimes the bad customers are going to come to light and you need to be aware of when situations are going to go wrong. So this little tip of knowing those last four of the phone number is going to definitely help you. In my five years of doing this part time, there's been a couple times where I've recognized, hey, there's going to be some criminal activity here. Someone's trying to scam me. I was on Postmates and I got a call supposedly from the company and I knew they're going to try to get my information, log into my account somehow and steal my money. Is that something you would like to hear about?